Venezuela seizes nearly 4 million toys. Welcome to Venezuela, where a basket of groceries costs a month's wages and the government confiscates millions of toys to play Santa at Christmas. Venezuela's socialist government has seized nearly 4 million toys from a private company, saying it intends to hand them out as gifts to poor children, the Associated Press reports. The toys were seized on Friday from three warehouses run by Cresol, the country's largest toy distributor, by Venezuela's Fair Pricing Authority, which also detained two company executives on suspicion of promoting price speculation. Venezuela has been racked by a deep economic crisis accompanied by shortages of goods ranging from food staples to medicine. In recent days President Nicolas Maduro ordered stores to lower their prices between 30 and 50 percent. Economists have blamed the disaster on the country's strict price controls, introduced in 2003, and a heavy reliance on oil revenue. Pricing agency director William Contreras alleged that Chrysler underreported its inventory in order to sell some toys at higher prices. Chrysler has not commented officially beyond responding to Twitter messages of support. Dot. Mr. Contreras said the seizure would teach companies that you can't play with the rights of Venezuelans. Authorities said local supply committees will be in charge of distributing the toys fairly to children. Federico Fuentes, a member of the National Executive of Australia's Socialist Alliance and coordinator of the Australia-Venezuela Solidarity Network, said the crisis in Venezuela today was not a situation that can be explained by the errors of socialist policies or too much socialism, but actually the opposite. There continues to be a lot of capitalism in Venezuela, he said. The problem is the influence of the private sector in the economy and the inability of the government to counteract that and deal with some of the offensive thefts being waged against it. Mr. Fuentes said private companies over the past 15 years had launched a political offensive to sabotage the government. It's all well and good to have price controls, but some private companies have attempted to abuse the system, export across the border and sell on the black market. The government hasn't been able to police it. He didn't advocate for shutting down of private companies for the sake of it, but said workers should be able to take over and continue production if companies attempted to use their economic power to destabilize the government. At the Socialist Alliance we've been long-term supporters of the aims of the Bolivarian Revolution, he said. But there is no doubt there have been a lot of errors. The toy seizure came ahead of the shock announcement by President Maduro that the country would be pulling its largest current bank note from circulation amid rampant inflation. Venezuela's inflation is already the world's highest. The International Monetary Fund predicts it will reach 475% by the end of the year and will hit 1660 percent in 2017, if nothing is done. During a televised address, he announced the 100 Bolivar note, worth about 3 Australian cents, would be removed from circulation by Wednesday to combat smuggling. The 100 Bolivar note is the most widely used and represents half the paper cash in circulation. The government has promised to begin rolling out six larger denomination bank notes in the coming days, ranging in value from 500 to 20,000 Bolivars. Earlier this year, more than one million people took to the streets to demand President Maduro's removal. The nation's economic crisis has led to blackouts, looting and public lynchings. Dot. Some middle-class Venezuelans have liquidated their life savings to stockpile food. In desperate trips across the long closed border with Colombia, while food is starting to reappear on supermarket shelves, prices have skyrocketed after the government quietly stopped enforcing price controls in some border towns. CNN reported.
Dot. The current minimum wage in Venezuela is 65,000 bolivars a month, or around $73. One bag of cornmeal and a dozen eggs at current prices can take up 8% of a worker's monthly pay. With AP.